human body is an amazing thing. Thousands of parts, millions of cells, all communicating, working in sync with one another. It allows us to move, to breathe, to walk and run and do incredible things, all as if it were one. You spend so much time working with people, doing the day-to-day -day things you do every day. Sometimes you forget about that body. Working, living, communicating. We caught up with Dr. Kenneth Brown, medical director of a growing group of clinics in Dothan, Alabama. Recently, the clinic has experienced a surge of growth, and we wanted to find out more. How does a company remain true to its roots and grow? I have been with Dothan Pediatric Healthcare Network now for almost 20 years. In fact, Dr. Freeman and I started on the same day, uh, September 1st, 1999. So in September, it will be 20 years. My job is to make sure that, you know, the providers, the nurse practitioners, the um, the doctors, um, that we all are on the same page in terms of the, the goals for the clinic. Uh, I still have uh, a vital role in our meetings every uh, couple of weeks we meet. And so it's my job to make sure that we make a decision that the nurse practitioners and the doctors know um, what those decisions are in, in terms of how they affect the clinic and the flow of the clinic. Um, so it's real important uh, that I maintain really good communication with all the providers in the practice. In the practice. We're all one unit. Um, just like a body is one unit and all parts have to work together for that unit to work effectively. There's no way uh, that we could have done it uh, without really good strong communication and a team. You know, we just work so much better and, and stronger together if we, if we work as a team. It's obvious that Dothan Pediatric Healthcare Network is growing. With 17 new staff hired between May 2018 and May 2019, the clinic is obviously doing something right. We thought we'd investigate further and talk to some of the new staff. My name is Megan Bass. I've worked here since May. I am a nurse um, for Dr. Strasburg. Um, I really like how nice everybody is. Everybody is a team player. I have a cat and a dog. That's the most interesting thing about me. My name is Mandy Smith. I'm a financial counselor here at Dothan Pediatric Clinic. I have been here since May of 2018. I answer patients' billing and insurance questions, uh, help them with any concerns that they have about their bill, help them get claims refiled, anything they have, any issues they have. I love the environment. I love the, I've been, I've been made to feel extremely welcome here. Any, where I've worked, I worked at Denny Vision for 18 years, and it was a very, um, Dr. Denny owned it, it was a very close-knit environment. I get the same feel here, um, like it's a close-knit group. And I tried working somewhere else and I didn't get that. Uh, I'm really good at makeup. <laughs> and if I didn't live in Dothan, I would probably be a makeup artist. My name is Belisa White. I have worked for Dothan Pediatric Clinic for four months now. I work for Dr. Ernest at the Enterprise office. I enjoy coming in, seeing the babies every single day, you know, just having a part in their health care, having a part in making them well if they're sick you know that just does my heart good so interesting fact about myself is that i enjoy spending time with my husband and my beautiful um 12 month old baby um i also love you know the pediatric care of the clientels of kids that's why i love my little boy so much because i love kids so much my name is shannon curlford i've worked here for nine months i am the marketing coordinator here at the dothan clinic Something interesting about myself is that I played soccer for 13 years. Is that not cool? Yeah, it was real good. I was actually so good, I got to meet the mayor on my all-star traveling team. My name is Haley McLaughlin. I've worked here for about nine months. I am an RN, I work for Dr. Barron. I really like that Dothan Pediatrics is a family. It's probably the best family environment that I've worked in. As a nurse, I had not worked anywhere that really valued family. 
and that's what I was looking for and they said oh we're such a work family and I was like okay but you don't know until you start and really it's the best work family. Um, I like to help new moms breastfeed. I like to encourage them and give them tips. So many moving parts, so much going on. New staff, a complex system of processes. I'm Michael Ramsey. I'm the managing partner of Dothan Pediatric Healthcare Network. So managing partner is a new position that the shareholders um, decided on this last year. Um, so for the next three years, I'll be helping oversee the operations and growth of the clinic. I came to the uh, practice in 1997, so a um, long time ago. And so there's been a lot of changes. Um, when I first came, um, Phyllis had just started two months before. So uh, we're kind of um, comrades in arms, so to speak, is starting around the same time. And uh, at that time we had one office, there were 10 providers, um, and now we have five offices with the almost 25 providers. It's been great to see you know, the opening of all of the clinics, starting with Ufala and then Enterprise and then Westgate and then uh, Ozark, and then now we're, we're building the new subspecialty um, clinic out on 231. We're really excited about the growth that's coming. If you bring in one new provider uh, uh, in a year, you know, that's, that's usually considered uh, uh, growth. And so, you know, there are a lot of years when we'll bring in anywhere from two to five providers um, at a time. I would say that, um, that as we grow, communication gets harder, you know, uh, because we have people, that, we have some people who don't come, you know, to the mothership, so to speak. We have them that don't come at all. And so um, maintaining that community and trying to keep that consistent feel across our clinics is something that's really important to us. Um, and so we really try to communicate and you know that's always a goal to try to do that better. Although it seems like they've been here forever, cardiology just started coming at the beginning of last year. Dr. Lozano just started coming last year. Um, and then uh, Dr. Ogumbi um, has decided to come uh, more frequently uh, towards the end of last year. So, and then we've also recruited Heather Schott, our new endocrinologist. We bought the building out on 231. We opened the Ozark Clinic. We um, uh, implemented um, Solution Reach. We um, had uh, the electronic PA uh, process put in place. If you picked three of those things that we did last year off of the list, people would say, you know, a lot of practices would say they couldn't get it done. 2019 is uh, the, the main thing I think is going to be getting ready to open the subspecialty clinic. And so um, it's a 24,000 square foot building, so it's bigger than the main office. And so we're going to be um, moving our Westgate services over there. We're going to be hiring a lot of people. Um, we're still in the recruiting phase for um, some other of our subspecialists. And um, so uh, that's going to be that's going to be a huge undertaking. Um, we'll have um, people renting space upstairs. We'll have uh, you know our therapists. We'll have an ABA therapist. We'll have speech therapy. We're looking to have PT and OT upstairs. Um, we're in the process of evaluating whether we can have a sleep lab upstairs. Um, and then downstairs, we'll have full-time cardiology. We'll have full-time neurology. Full-time pulmonology. Um, uh, we'll have at least part-time GI. We're hoping to recruit a full-time GI person. We'll have full-time endocrinology. And then um, uh, one of our physicians is going to be uh, transitioning over to do an adolescent clinic there as well. At the base of it all, though, we want to make sure that we're continuing to take great care of our patients and giving them a consistently good experience here. Every person here is an important part in delivering health care for children. So whether you're putting in a phone number or an insurance at the front, or whether you're cleaning up a spill that happens in the waiting room, or if you're working up a patient, or you're drawing up a shot, or you're making an appointment, or you're filing a claim, or whatever you're doing is an important part of delivering health care. With its complex structure and strong leadership, it's no surprise that Dothan Pediatric Healthcare Network is shaping up to be a leading pediatric force in the Southeast region. And communication seems to be the secret formula to success. As the organization grows, it's important to keep those lines of communication open. But how do you communicate daily with such a large group of people? Meet Phyllis Helms. 
For the past 22 years, she's been the administrator of the clinic and has seen the evolution of a small eight-doctor organization to the multi-clinic body that it is today. She's seen the growth firsthand and has facilitated much of it. We ask her how communication has impacted her role with the network of clinics. My name is Phyllis Helms. I am the administrator of Dothan Pediatric Healthcare Network. I have been employed with this organization since 19, May of 1996. It's a long time. A lot has changed. I think in any organization, communication is key. In order for an organization to grow and move forward and to succeed, I think you have to have communication across all aspects of that organization. And that's communication coming from the top, um, maybe from the owners, all the way down to even the people that do um, maybe the, the yard work. And if you talk to our supervisors, they will always say the one thing that we need to do is improve communication. I, I think we've done an okay job with that, but I think that we can still do better. And we have some new things coming up this year that we want to continue to improve communication. I meet every day with our medical director and our managing partner in order for us to communicate. I try to speak every day with the supervisors and our office managers in order that I can communicate and disseminate that information out down through the lines and that they can also trickle it down to their staff. Having five different locations makes that a little more difficult because I have to make sure that the information gets out timely and it gets out accurate in order for the employees to hear that. It's a continual thing that we just continually try to improve communication all the way across the board. I have been working with Dustin and Shannon in our marketing department and we are going to be putting a, a podcast together that the employees, that will be sent out bi-weekly. Employees will have the opportunity to listen to that at their leisure and after each shareholder meeting, and uh, shareholders and I meet twice a month, and after each meeting, we will be uh, sending out that information that, uh, of what we talk about at those meetings and what is relevant to, uh, to the employees. Hopefully this will be a way that people can stay uh, more informed, um, buy into the organization a little more and become more personally involved. And also, if you know what's going on, it gives you a, a better opportunity and a better pathway to answering questions or asking questions and, and keeping, keeping you informed. And we hope that this helps people buy into the organization more. One of my goals in and, and working with the uh, shareholders and physicians here was to bring subspecialty to Dothan Pediatrics. That's always been my dream. And it's been something that's taken a long time to do, but we are now in the process of expanding our subspecialty practice. We were so fortunate a few years back to get um, Dr. Sharp here, and now we've brought Dr. Lozano and Dr. Schott on board. So we are so excited about our subspecialty practice, and we think over the next few years that we're gonna see subspecialty in Dothan grow. Short of Birmingham, there's nothing around here like it. With so much effort put into subspecialty care, we wanted to take an opportunity to meet some of the subspecialists. What makes what this small Dothan clinic is doing so big? We decided to visit with Dr. David Lozano, a pediatric pulmonologist with Dothan Pediatric Healthcare Network. My name is David Lozano, and I'm a pediatric pulmonary and a sleep medicine specialist. I'm originally from Texas, and I grew up there and I went to medical college in San Antonio, Texas, and I went to medical school in Galveston, Texas, and then I did my pediatric residency in Pensacola, Florida, and then I did my fellowship in um, pediatric pulmonary at Children's of Birmingham. Pediatric pulmonology is a, a specialty uh, that involves care of children with uh, respiratory problems, deals with conditions like asthma, lung disease that children have, um, when they're um, premature. And then I deal also with sleep uh, disorders. A lot of that's related to um, the fact that the conditions we see in pediatrics are a lot different than in adult. I started here just about a year ago now, so um, I've been in Dothan actually seeing patients for right at um, one year. I think my first day of seeing patients was February 19th last year. I did look 
at other cities when I decided to, to leave um, Children's in Birmingham. And when I came down to Dothan to interview, I really kind of felt like I belonged here with the people that are here. I felt like it was gonna be the right place for me. I felt like I could still uh, be able to provide care to children in Alabama, which I'd enjoy doing all these years. Some of my patients right now come three, four, five hours. I think a lot of that's driven by the fact that even, even with us here um, as subspecialists, there's just, there's a big lack of pediatric subspecialists in the country, uh, no matter where you go. And when you're comparing adult subspecialist numbers to pediatric, it's, there's a big discrepancy. It's such a positive thing for the uh, wiregrass area. And if we can continue to attract more pediatric subspecialists, it's, I think it's only gonna be, get better and better. Well, I've always said this, I think for what I do as a pediatric pulmonologist, I think we make a difference. We have an impact on kids' lives. My name is Dr. Heather Schote. I will be joining the Dothan Pediatric Healthcare Network in July of 2019. I will see patients from birth all the way up through um, late adolescence, early adulthood. Very excited. Pediatric endocrinology is the, the branch of medicine that deals with hormones and their organs, their glands that make them. Pediatrics was a decision before endocrinology. Um, people take different routes to get to their final destination in medicine. And for me, I knew very early on that I wanted to be a pediatrician, that I like pediatric medicine more than adult medicine. Endocrinology kind of fell into place later. It is definitely a calling. Pediatric endocrinology as a profession is nice because most of the things that people come to see me for, I can fix. You know, kids with diabetes, we give them insulin. And if they take the insulin, it works. Um, kids with thyroid problems, you know, if there's a, in, in general in endocrinology, when there's a hormone missing, we can replace it. So that's a, a part that's important to me that people come with these problems. And yes, I know how to fix that. Let me help you. There are zero endocrinologists for pediatric endocrinologists in this area. Um, that is one of the reasons that pediatric endocrinology is so important to Dothan. There are none here, and families often are having to drive seven, eight hours round trip, which is hard. You know, it's a day out of school, it's a day off work for families. It's a benefit to the families to have a pediatric endocrinologist close by that their pediatrician knows well. I like Dothan for a lot of reasons. Um, I grew up just outside of Atlanta, and so I know firsthand that big city living is not for me. I want an area um, to raise our family, to raise my son, um, in that it feels homey, um, you know, full of good southern folk that um, doesn't feel too big or too small, and Dothan really does fit that bill. And I love the people that I've met so far at the Dothan Pediatric Healthcare Network. And so that was just the final, um, the final point that helped us make that decision to come here. This practice definitely has found a little niche, um, a big one actually, and, and the services that we're gonna be able to provide and the quality of care that we're gonna be able to provide are so exciting. I do like to sing, so I might be um, joining the Tri-State Choir, we'll see about that. But. Through subspecialty providers and an extensive network of clinics throughout Southeast Alabama, Dothan Pediatric Healthcare Network is on the forefront of the pediatric medical scene. Comprehensive care seems to be the name of the game. But what about older patients? What is the clinic doing to address patients as they become adults? My name is Nola Jean Ernest. My patients call me Dr. E, and I am both a physician and a shareholder at Dothan Pediatric. ACHIA stands for Alabama Child Health Improvement Alliance. And every year, actually, ACHIA puts on a project that the goal is to improve the quality of health care for children across the state of Alabama. 
This year, the goal is to improve the quality of health care specifically that we have provide for our adolescent patients. I am the lead physician on the project for the entire state of Alabama and the entire um, chapter of the Alabama Academy of Pediatrics. As the physician lead, my goal is to lead the educational webinars, but also to get other practices excited about improving their quality of care as well. This project is very important to Dothan Pediatric Healthcare Network because as you know, the, our mission statement includes that we are going to be leaders in pediatric health care um, in the state. And so this, making sure that our quality of care is top notch is part of what helps us to be a leader um, in the state as far as healthcare goes. The goals of the ACHEA project this year are to improve our quality of care for adolescent patients. And so that will include things like making sure that we all understand the confidentiality policy about adolescents, being able to um, describe that policy to our adolescents, making our offices and our um, waiting rooms a little more adolescent friendly, and making sure that during the Adolescent Wild Child Checkup, we are meeting all of the components of the visit. After my three years here, um, I have just been so excited to see how much we've grown in general. So adding new practices, getting our Ozark clinic open, but also um, beginning to recruit subspecialists for our subspecialist clinic. That is so exciting. Um, we are really leading the state and, and sometimes even the nation as far as uh, making sure that we improve access to care for the children of Southeast Alabama and that is awesome. Communication among our offices in the Dothan Pediatric Healthcare Network is um, paramount to our success with everything we do. Um, I really appreciate having an office manager in my office that um, reports back frequently to the other offices, but um, being able to um, communicate through email and being able to have um, meetings where we all get together helps us to really understand what our goals are and to keep our culture the same across all of our clinics. You know, the culture is really important. The Dothan Pediatric Healthcare Network has been around for 65 years and we've had 65 years of practice on getting this culture exactly right. And so it is really important that we all understand that culture and we all are participating in that and communication is important to, so that we can keep that understanding. The first practice in the city to implement electronic medical records the first pediatric practice in the state to become a level three patient-centered medical home. The first pediatric practice to ever win a Circle of Care Innovation Award. Recognized by the AAP for stellar work in expanding access to health care for children in Alabama. A lobbyist for child health care with state government. A tremendous social media footprint. It's clear that Dothan Pediatric Health Care Network has become a hub of necessity in the Southeast despite its numerous accomplishments, despite its growing influence, despite its success, this clinic stays true to its roots by placing patients first, providing child health care with compassion, excellence, and value to the community. Communication is a peculiar thing. For Dothan Pediatric Healthcare Network, it means growth. For friends and family, it means love. For the cells and synapses in your body, it means life. What does it mean to you?